My name is Bavia and I study Electronic and Information Engineering at the Electrical and Electronic Engineering Department. Let me show you around. Welcome to the department. From my first day here, everyone's been so welcoming and supportive and we're an incredibly diverse community where you can meet and work with people from all over the world. And to meet people across the university, you should get involved in the one of over 300 societies at Imperial, from sports to arts to cultural societies. We're also home to the Robotic Society, where you can get involved in team projects and hackathons and learn the skills to make some really cool robots. And even if you're not doing any of that, it's a great working space, always buzzing with students who are ready to help in your personal projects. And you can use the 3D printers and other tools, so make sure to get involved. We also have ESOC, the department's student-run society, which organises industry talks and social events. This year, we even had one at the Shard. I've been a part of both cultural and professional societies at Imperial. With Indian Society, I've been involved in Imperial's larger student cultural show, East Meets West, and you can get involved too, even if you're a beginner in dance, drama, or music. And Consulting Society has really helped me fast track my career and meet other like-minded students. Within the department, there's a lot of student support. You can reach out to reps in your year group for any academic or well-being issues. The Electrical Engineering Society also connects you with students in older years in your first year for advice and support. Women in Electrical Engineering Society is also a key part of this, which I've been a part of and we organise some great events throughout the year. We ran a hackathon for the first time to bring over 75 school students to Imperial to experience engineering and had a lot of support from the department and staff to make that happen. Being at Imperial, you're in the heart of South Ken, where you have Hyde Park, the museums and tons of great food places and the rest of London to explore. And if you're coming to Imperial, my final piece of advice is to be brave and get involved. That's all from me and I'm off to grab a bite with some friends.